All right, Black and White Network supporters, we're going to talk about uh, a murder charge that I don't know that I necessarily agree with out of Houston, Texas. So we're not talking about some blue state here. We're talking about a red state. However, we're talking about Houston, Texas, and in urban cities, even in Texas, you've got Democratic mayors. Okay, Sylvester Turner's down there. Um, and, well, I don't know that he's as bad as Brandon Johnson. I don't think anybody's as bad as Brandon Johnson or Eric Adams. Uh, but he's not worth a shit either, so let's put it that way, right? Let's just get that out of the way. We got a scenario here where in Houston, Texas, a gun store employee opened fire on a guy that was in the store, a shoplifter, but supposedly he had a sharp object. And so this gun employee blasted away, as you can expect. And there is video. We're going to look at it. You don't actually see the the shooting that I can tell. Um, at least I can't tell it in the video. And, in fact, we can just take a look at said video. And uh, you tell me what you think. It's, uh, it's going to be right, right here. He uh, turns his back to run out the door. I'll just turn that down. And that is the employee right there. So you saw the video. This is the scenario. Charged with murder after gunning down a shoplifter. This shoplifter, as you can expect, has got a criminal record. We're talking about Houston here. All right. Houston's not Houston's not Chicago when it comes to homicide, but they have seven homicides a week in Houston, all right? So, people being threatened, people losing their life from homicide is a very real scenario in Houston, okay? Which means you have to have your head on a swivel when you're down there doing anything. And if you got a criminal in the store, I think you've got to try to protect yourself and the other employees in there. That's me. That's my opinion. And, uh, again, I feel like we're in a scenario where Democratic leadership wants to elevate the criminal and they want to uh, penalize the victim as if the victim, as in the word victim, hasn't been victimized enough. So, here we go. Gun store employee was charged with murder Saturday after killing a suspect shoplifter with a criminal record, concluding more than a year-long investigation by Houston authorities. As ABC 13 News Houston reported, police say Mark Winger shot and killed Terry Evans Jr., who was accused of shoplifting from Carter's Country Store on South Wheelcrest. The incident occurred in June 2022. The network exclusively captured surveillance footage of the occurrence, which enables viewers to draw their own conclusions. I didn't, I don't, I can't tell that he's actually shooting in the video. In the footage, Evans can be seen walking into the store. Then he goes up to the cash register and appears to grab money before heading towards the door. So let's see if there's some more footage here that we're going to be able to see from this situation right here let's just watch okay there's the guy he's robbing it right there and then he runs out so i don't get it okay a female employee then races towards him before winger follows he shoots at evans while the accused shoplifter tries to vacate the premises evans runs out the door and is shot ABC 13 Houston reports a bullet went through his back and exited, hitting the store's glass door. The footage concludes with another employee gesturing to Winger to go back inside the store. ABC 13 News notes that firefighters found Evans in the parking lot, where he later died from his injuries at the hospital. CW 39 Houston reported that Evans previously tried to steal clothes from another establishment, before he was driven away by employees. He then walked next door to the gun shop. Jason Gibson, an attorney for Evans' family, claimed that the shooting did not qualify as self-defense under Texas law. 
In Texas, you're only justified in using deadly force if you feel you're in imminent uh, fear of imminent death or serious bodily injury. Winger, however, says that Evans had a sharp object and feared for his life. The Evans family admitted to ABC 13 Houston that their son had a criminal record and a history of mental health issues. Nonetheless, they relayed their heartbreak, having to bury him. I can't describe the pain of losing a son, Terry Evans Sr. said while crying. I say to myself, I would have taken the bullet because the pain is unbearable. Winger was arrested and charged with murdering Evans Jr., and has since posted a $30,000 bond. And, you know, we're talking about crime down there. Um, they're, they're once All these Democratic cities are trying to brag about their current, current crime rates dropping like 5, 6, 7, 8%. But when your numbers are like, I mean, look at this. Uh, their numbers are... Homicide rates are still above pre-pandemic figures. Right now, there are seven homicides a week, whereas four years ago, it was five. Data shows homicides are down 13% in the past 12 months compared to 2022. I mean, look, multiple hundreds of people are dying a freaking year in Houston. For murder, murder, actual, that's the murder rate, the homicide rate. And somebody that's working in that store is just going to assume that that's not going to go bad? You know, I, I, you don't know what somebody's going to do. Now, if anybody wants to get mad about anything, how about addressing some of the mental health issues in the country? Bring back asylums. You know, a lot of these crazy people are walking around the street committing these crimes and they ought to be locked up. All right, in some asylum somewhere. But no, they don't seem to want to do that. And like I said, the Democratic leadership, they try to turn these people into heroes. There, there's no telling what kind of what kind of angle and what kind of fire will get driven around the guy that got shot. You'll have people out there protesting on his behalf. This trial will probably get a ton of publicity. And, and, and I'm sure the person who did the shooting is screwed. Because the guy that got shot will end up becoming a martyr. George Floyd style. Now, I'm sorry, but I don't have a lot of sympathy. I saw something similar to this where a career criminal had come into like a family dollar or Dollar General or one of those places. And a, a citizen was in there, and the employees felt threatened. He was robbing the place. The citizen pulled his, I believe, legally carrying firearm out and blasted the guy. And I think they're charged with murder now. That might have actually been in Dallas, come to think of it. Another Democratic mayor-led shithole. Oh, wait, the mayor just flipped over to Republican, and I'm supposed to somehow buy into that as brave, stunning, and courageous. Excuse me while I'm skeptical. Sometimes I think some of that is done as a partial grift. I'm just throwing that out. Tell me what you think, Black and White Network supporters. Peace them out. Till next time.